Hi, welcome back to one of my tutorials. Today we're going to look into how PHP processes data. Data could be anything. It could be numbers, text, records from a database, and even objects that you create yourself in PHP. It's very common to work with numbers when you're working with PHP, so in this tutorial we will use some numbers. Uh, working with, P uh, with data in PHP isn't hard. It's very simple to create a variable and tell the computer what kind of variable it is. I'll show you some of the different data types. Um, as you can see I've prepared some variables and their content. Uh, the first one is obviously a number, as you can see over here. Uh, the second one, temperature, is also a number, but because it's a broken number, 15.8, it's not an integer, but a double. So they're sometimes called floating point numbers, and PHP refers to them as a float, but they're basically the same thing. But don't confuse integers with doubles, alright? Now, the third one is a string. The, it's basically some text and we've already used it before. Uh, the last one, but not least, is the boolean. Uh, it's basically true or false. One is zero. One represents true and zero represents false. Boolean values might seem stupid, but they're very important and good to use. With Boolean values, you can use if statements. Uh, you probably heard the term around, but we'll get to that later. Let's echo these variables to the screen, and you'll see what happens with the Boolean. Okay, let's... Oh, sh what I'm doing. Okay, so let's open up PHP and say echo salary. Salary semicolon, close to PHP tag, break tag, and let's do that for every single thing. Okay, temperature, semicolon, close to PHP tag, break again, open up PHP tag, echo, uh, what's now title, semicolon, close to PHP tag, break again, the last one, uh, PHP open tag, echo the variable present, semicolon, uh, close PHP tag, break it, and the line just for fun. Okay, so let's play it with a uh, view using interpreter. And down here you can see that uh, salary gives back 1000, temperature gives back 15.8 title gives back Harry Potter, but there's one difference. Presence uh, is true gives us back 1. Like I said before, 1 repre uh, represents true and 0 represents false. So it's not a surprise that true gives back 1, but I'm sure it's not what you have expected. Okay. What's also important to know is that PHP binds every variable and function uh, to a boolean value. So this means that integers are false when they have the value 0, doubles are false when they have the value 0, 0.0, strings are false if they have the value of nothing or 0. With nothing I mean this, quotation marks and nothing in between. So now title gives us back uh, that it has the value of boolean false, if you know what I mean. Arrays are false when they're zero, uh, but I mean null, so that means when they have no elements at all. And last but not least, null is always false. And what's null? That's this over here, look. Null. You spell it like that. N-U-L-L. -L. Okay? Now, to get back to the Boolean values, I want to explain something about the if-else statement. Let's use for an example that we have some World of Warcraft character and they have to pay some sort of credit to play. So what the system does behind uh, the login screen is it checks if they have uh, one or more days of credit on their uh, character. So if it is true, so if they have one or more uh, days of credit on the character, they can play. But if it's false, so let's say they have none, no uh, credit at all, zero, then they're not allowed and they have to upgrade the credit. Now that's 
a great example to use for uh, PHP. Let's make a new PHP file. PHP, alright. Uh, I'll just write away, okay? Um, open up the PHP tag, like we did. Okay, and now let's say um, uh, variable credit. Oh, uh, wait. Credit is, uh, let's say our credit is 10 days. So let's fill in a 10. This is the credit. Uh, variable sign uh, we have to have at least one so that's uh, like let's say I don't know uh, limit is one the credit you must have and I don't know uh, that's everything we need so now let's say if uh, we use a space if credit is lower uh, you see smaller than the limit limit then do this so you get uh, you get something like uh, error is no you have to buy more credit first like so but what if uh, we do have more credit than the limit then we say else we go down we say error is so we're basically making a new variable over here right we didn't assign anything to it that's what the if statement is going to decide okay so error is uh, yeah you locked in successfully because we're using the World of Warcraft example. Okay, now we close up the PHP tag and we go down below. Okay, I'm supposed to put this in the header, in the head like so. One moment. Okay, now we open up another PHP tag over here. And here we're going to um, echo some of the things. Uh, depending on uh, the if statement so let's say um, um, let's do it without any PHP text let's just say in HTML uh, your credit at the moment is now we have to use a PHP tag anyway uh, PHP echo and then the variable credit because that's the credit we have right now uh, and let's close the PHP tag again. I'm sorry, I'm very sleeping. Sleepy. Uh, your credit at the moment is uh, this. So point, and it's done. And then let's say in some big text, let's say how much credit we have right now. No, we did that. Uh, here we're going to post the error, okay? PHP echo um, error mm, close to php tag slash h2 like so let's see what happens right now okay your credit at the moment is um oh i <laughs> i did it the other way around. now it says your credit at the moment is 10 no you have to buy more credit first but that's because i accidentally did this if credit is more than limit, it should be the other way around. If credit is less than limit, then it should say, no, you have to buy more credit first, else the message, I should call this a message, not an error. Uh, like so, message, message, mm, message. So we have a uh, uh, days of credit at the moment so it says your credit at the moment is 10 yeah you locked in successfully um, let's make the credit uh, 30 days we bought a whole month of world of warcraft your credit at the moment is 30 yeah you locked in successfully okay but what if uh, we don't have any credit so it's zero let's play then it says your credit at the moment is zero no you have to buy more credit first so 
this is basically an if statement. You have uh, it makes a decision, and based on that decision, you can do things. It's it, the possibilities are endless. I'll um, tell something more about this in my next tutorial.